Hey guys, I'm CJ Pearson. I just want to take the time to be real with y'all. I, I want to be really, really real. And I, and I want to level with you because I am honestly sick and tired of hearing Donald Trump accused of racism by people who haven't done a fraction of what he's done for black people. I am sick and tired of it. They don't actually believe he's a racist. They don't actually believe he's a white supremacist. And if they do, if the Democrats who accuse him of being those things really do believe that he is those things that they claim he is, then I think they really need to confront the history of their party for a quick second. Ooh. The Democratic Party was literally founded upon the bedrock of racism, founded upon the bedrock of hate. They were literally the party of white supremacy. They are the party of the KKK, mm. the party of segregation, oh. the party that literally fought to put my great-grandmother oh. to the back of the bus. Ooh. They did that. That is fact. Ooh. That is truth. Read a history book, and, and you will know, and you will read all about it. Democrats have done more to put black people down than they have ever done to lift us up. Preach. They did it by just preach. preach. Preach, my brother. Bro, every time I say anything like this, or I swear, I swear, anytime anybody say anything like this, well, you know, you could be just a person with common sense that already sees what's happening. Like I said, bro, you don't even need to know the history behind all this. It's right in front of your face. I believe when you have wisdom, bro, you start to see things that you don't have to look up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to look up what Donald Trump did for America. I didn't have to look up what he did for the black community. I didn't have to, I just seen it. It's all right there. But when we take us when we take a second, put aside what we seen on the media and just look for ourselves. I promise you, we will see all the hypocrisy that's going on in the, in in uh the Democrats. Everything. They're hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? We'll see how much they really don't care for black people. And it's not even just about black people. They don't care about America. Okay, but we, but for some reason, they always get voted in. They always get the highest votes. They always get voted in to take over this country. And this is why the country is the way it is now because we allow people that don't really care about America to run America. And I feel like the people that vote these people in don't care about America either. They just voted just to vote. But if we really want America to be great again then we should start voting for people that actually want to see America be better than what it is. Like Donald Trump. Think about it. The man was already, the man didn't care about the money. Okay. Because he was already a billionaire before even coming into office. He was already a billionaire before coming to office. You already know he didn't care about the money. But the Democrats, you know what they care about? They care about stacking up their pockets. That's what they care about. Literally, bro, you don't even have to, you don't even have to do research on a lot of different things to know what's the truth. The truth always is right in front of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I might tell you a joke, but I never tell you a lie. Hey, man, brother. Designed through welfare. They do it today. And if you look at the cities of Chicago, Flint, Michigan, and so many more, oh. you look at the conditions of black people in Democrat-ran cities, and you see black people living in poverty. Oh, Lord. You see black people living without hope. You see black people living side by side. No, You know what they say? Do you know what the black people say? They say, oh, it's because we're oppressed. We're li it's because we're oppressed. That's why. That's why we living in poverty. That's why we doing. That's why we living like this. That's why. That's because we keep voting Democrats in that don't care about us. That that's that's all. That's the only reason. It's not because we're freaking oppressed. We're not oppressed. We can be anything in America. That's the one best. That's probably the greatest thing about America is that you can be anything regardless of your skin color. But when we keep voting people in that don't truly care about our race or don't care about America in general, don't care about the human race. When we keep voting people in like that, we go keep finding ourselves in situations where we feel like, oh, dang, I might be oppressed. I'm oppressed. It's because I'm black. It's because I'm black. No, it's because you got people out here that you we got people out here that's voting in these Democrats that don't care. They don't care. That's bro. It's all it's all right there in front of our faces. But we look at the media too much and the media is brainwashing us. It's brainwashing us, bro. Why do you think so many people are getting canceled? Bro, they're getting canceled. Cancel culture is a thing because of the big media. The big media started this cancel culture thing, bro. I'm telling you, all these people that speaking upon things that's happening in America and that's trying to wake people up, because the people that think y'all woke, y'all really not woke. It's the difference between being woke and awake. When you're awake, you start to see the truth behind these things. So why do you think uh, Kyrie Irving, Kanye West, why do you think so many different people are getting canceled left and right for being honest and being open and telling the truth? Come on, bro. It's right there, bro. I'm telling you, it's right there. Hide by rats like you see in the city of Baltimore. And if you want to convince me and tell me that Democrats actually care about black people, then I'm confused.
because I see no evidence of such a thing. But when I look at what the president's done, mm. I see record low black unemployment. Yep. I see a hundred million dollar increase in HBCU funding. Oh Lord. I see a president who has overseen the creation of opportunity zones to spur economic investment in majority black communities oh. in America's inner cities. Oh. Bringing hope and promise and jobs to the communities that need it most. Oh. Communities that have been used and abused by Democrats ever since their founding. That is what this president has done. A president who has done more for black people than any other president in modern history, including the first black one. These are just facts. These are just truth. This is not conjecture nor opinion. These are simply matters of fact. Democrats don't really care about black people because if they did, they wouldn't only talk about black issues when it was time for votes to be cast. They would actually do something for black people. Oh my, oh my, bro. Bro. What? Yeah. CJ, I love you, my brother. I love you. I love you. Speaking facts. I don't, and it's crazy, bro. This video was posted two years ago. I never heard about this video, mainly because I wasn't into politics two years ago, but I wasn't even into like the whole Democrat, Republican thing. I wasn't into none of that. But it's crazy to me how this video right here is just showing the proof and showing the facts. It's all right here, bro. It's all right here. He's speaking straight facts. This is not opinion based. It's straight facts. When you open your eyes and start to see the truth behind these presidents that say, oh, they care so much about America. They care so much about black people. When you start to really see their true colors, bro, because look, even the Bible would tell you, you know, a person, you know, a tree by its fruits. So that same thing applies to a person. You know, a person by the fruits. You know what I'm saying? You should know who to vote for right off the rip. Because of what they're already saying in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? What they already said in the beginning. Not, be, not before votes started casting. Like, no. You should already know. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the thing. It's every, like I said, it's everything right in front of your face. You don't, need to, you don't need to look up, research. You don't need to do none of that when it's right in front of your face. It's right there. Bro, CJ is speaking straight facts, dog. All the time. Not just when it was convenient for them. And again... If Democrats really want to call someone a white supremacist or a bigot, maybe they should look within their own ranks. Maybe they should address the fact that Hillary Clinton called black people super predators. Maybe they should address the fact that Joe Biden signed into law or advocated for the, the Clinton crime bill that took more black fathers out of the home than, well, slavery. It's a sad fact, a sad reality, but it's all truth. Guys, if Donald Trump is a racist, I don't even, I can't even imagine what Democrats are hmm. at all. Hmm. And that, and these are just facts. Thank you. Bro, first off, I, first off, I got to give a huge thank you to this man, CJ. Okay, CJ, bro, you just speaking straight facts the whole video. Now, look, I'm going to tell you like this. Me personally, me personally, I was talking, so I, when I was talking to this Democrat, well, I didn't know he was a Democrat because he was so for the whole black people not oppressed thing. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe this man is probably on the same side. He was like, bro, I'm so far left. I'm all for the black people. I'm like, oh yeah, you you are, huh? Because it don't seem like Democrats did anything, anything for the black community. But you know what? A lot of a lot of people in America are so brainwashed that they they are going to be focused more on what the media says. You know what I'm saying? More on what social media tell them rather than looking and getting deep into the facts themselves. That's why we have to distance ourselves from social media. We got to get locked into our inner self. We got to realize and know, okay, this is what's the truth. This is what's going on with society. This is what you have to see the stuff for yourself. Stop looking at what the media put out there. When a black person get killed, the first thing they put out there uh, is is either black on black crime or they put out when a police officer kill a black person but they're not putting out the other stuff that's going on in different communities also they're not putting out the uh the police officers that's killing white people they're not pulling out none of that you know what i'm saying they don't care for none of that they like to just they like to just brainwash us. that's what they like to do. that's their main job is to brainwash society and make them think that this is what it is when it really ain't what it is you know what i'm saying bro it's it's a sad fact it's sad but I promise you, when y'all stop putting your feelings over the facts, America would be so much 
greater. Realize the facts and realize your feelings. Your feelings can never your feelings can never overpower the facts. Okay? Simple as that. This is the video Democrats don't want black people to see. I promise you. This is the video they don't want you to see. They don't want you to see that. Go deep into the Democrats. Go deep into what they have done. Go deep into their party. Go deep into all that and you will see every racist, every white supremacist, whatever. You will see it all within just that party itself. <laughs> this is why we in the end. This is why we in the end times. Okay, this is why we in the end times. We like we like to vote for people that don't really care. We like to vote for people that like to start wars and all types of stuff. This is why we in the end times, bro. This is this is exactly why. Exactly why. You know what I'm saying? They can't keep they can't keep it real. You feel me? Republicans, we keep it real. You know what I'm saying? We keep it real. Donald Trump, all he did was keep it real. You know what I'm saying? He just kept it real. The man gets so much hate 24-7 everybody hate the man got kicked off freaking twitter he's a freaking president and he got kicked off twitter how can you even kick off a president off twitter just the president of the united states of america but he got kicked off twitter and he still cared for america even after america didn't care for him that just shows you a lot about a person's fruit that's why i say you know a person by the fruits telling you but y'all let me know what y'all think about this video man shout out to cj pearson cj pearson man shout out to you my brother this was two years ago only twenty three thousand views shows that you know democrats don't want to see this video obviously but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below man uh if uh, i'm not even gonna say nothing because I, I thought y'all saw the best the rest of my room i'm moving y'all so if, if y'all do happen to see things, I can't tell because the camera thing. Oh, whatever. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe to the post notification. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Thank you for 70K. Y'all some goats. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.